Well, it could be a wet run down Broad Street. Here's meteorologist Lauren Casey with what we can expect. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Joe. Yes, certainly a damp breeze will be in effect for runners tomorrow morning and could catch a couple of showers. Dry conditions right now, at least at the moment in Head House Square, but you can see those low clouds lingering. Some folks out for a little late night stroll. That's nice. Very romantic. Also, romantic are changing leaves. And now in the Poconos, we are nearing peak. Leaf peeping season. I got it out. Lehigh Valley uh, changing colors right now. Same case in southeastern PA, Bucks County, Monco, uh, Philly. We're still at little change. Same case for South Jersey and portions of Delaware, but. We'll get there. Don't worry. Temperatures today much more fall like than yesterday when our high temperature topped near 80 degrees. Today we did make it to 71 in Philly, right around average, but it certainly didn't feel like it. Temperatures right now in the middle 60s. We're at 68 degrees in AC, 62 in Allentown, some 50s on the board in the Poconos, and 65 degrees right now in Wilmington. We still have a hearty breeze kicking out of the east and northeast, driving in this marine air mass, and that's going to keep those low clouds around. Times of mist, and we do have some shower activity starting to build in right now. Storm Scan 3 showing those showers moving from offshore onshore, light in intensity, overspreading South Jersey, portions of Delaware, and trying to make it into Philadelphia proper. But right now, seeing that rain encompassing Cumberland County, Salem County, a little pocket of moderate rainfall there. Still some light rain falling across central Delaware. We have that rain spreading up into Camden and Gloucester counties, knocking on the door of Haddon Township, and eventually. South Philly as we head into the next hour. So the plants will get a little bit of a sprinkle as we head into the next couple of hours. This moisture in association with a coastal low offshore of the Carolinas that's looking very impressive on satellite and radar imagery. You can definitely notice that counterclockwise circulation. So for tonight, we'll still see just a little bit of moisture from that system. Areas of light rain, breezy at times, cloudy conditions, 61 degrees, and then much of the same for tomorrow. Intermittent showers, breezy, cool, and damp with our high temperature at 68 degrees for our Sunday. Tracking the tropics, this is the same coastal low I showed you, but a different look at our satellite imagery. National Hurricane Center actually giving it a 50% chance at subtropical or tropical development. The next name would be Wanda. That's actually the last name on the hurricane season list. But despite any kind of tropical development, our impacts are going to be the the same. We're going to see some showers and a bit of a breeze as we head into the overnight period. Areas of light rain, maybe a couple of heavier pockets as we head into tomorrow morning. Broad Street run, really not looking too bad, but we certainly could see some mistings and sprinkle activity as we head into the afternoon. Showers continue to rotate on through. Again, pretty light. We could see some heavier rain across the coast. Then as we head into Monday morning, maybe a lingering shower, but otherwise we are quieting things down as we head into Monday. Morning fog on Tuesday. Temperatures in the middle 70s. And then a taste of summer by Wednesday with high temperatures up near 80 degrees. Looks like Wednesday and into next weekend. Check out Thursday, the birds game. High temperature that day, 80 degrees. It's going to be a warm evening in the stands. Not too bad, Joe. Not bad at all. Lauren, thank you so much.